Hello everyone. Now here's a question that everybody asks me. What's your diet like? Well, one thing I'd like to say first of all is that I am not a doctor, I am not a nutritionalist, and today I'm going to share what worked for me, which certainly isn't what I'm telling you you have to do, but it worked for me and I know that it's working for hundreds of other people as well. So if you're on treatment in particular, I would suggest that you sought some professional advice before you embark upon this. But meanwhile, do enjoy because there's going to be tons here that I know will help everybody. A typical day for me would mean getting up, putting the kettle on, and before anything else, having a cup of green tea. Now, green tea is full of antioxidants, it's wonderful, but of course it is very different to a milky cup of normal Western tea, or coffee for that matter but I, I did change that habit. Now, out of choice, I still do choose to have a green tea. It makes me feel fresh and alive. It also makes me feel calm because in those early days, at that point of time, I would find some space to go inward and just think about the day, everything I was going to do, relax, meditate, just be still with myself. After the cup of tea, I'd go downstairs, I'd fill up my jug of filtered clean water, and I'd also take supplements because some of which need to be taken on an empty stomach. Now, I will be doing supplements on a different module because it's quite a large subject, but today is all about everything that I basically would digest. So I include nutritional supplementation as part of that. So after that, maybe an hour later, I would embark on making myself some sort of breakfast. Now in winter, that would be porridge. I have done a video on porridge, which um, I'll put above here for you to have a look at afterwards. In summer now, we're, we're approaching the start of summer, I would more likely make something like perhaps a chia seed pudding with lots of berries on the top. You'll notice that the base of both of these are either porridge oats, which of course is a healthy carb, or the chia seed pudding, it, it's the chia seeds, which are both carb and protein without many calories, guys. So both of them will keep you full for a large part of the morning. Now, of course, I'd chase that down with some more water. Water, guys, I'm drinking throughout the whole day. This is so important. Now, at around 11 o'clock, I will start to want something else. And this is the time when I'll get to work with the juicer. Um, a typical juice would either be a green juice or a form of base, something with carrots. So this, this will take a fair bit of time and effort, but again, if you, as per my other video, you understood that a masticating juicer means that you can bulk make th so that it will last a few days, that's, that's really advantageous at, at this point if you can be making juice for the next few days. After the juice, um, I must, might start to feel a bit peckish. Um, I might grab a handful of nuts just as a snack. And of course, I'd maybe chase those down with yet more water. Now, come lunchtime, I would be going back into the kitchen and spending time chopping up a huge bowl of salad, an enormous, pretty big bowl of salad. And let me explain. I've learned a lot about this diet from somebody called Chris Walk. Chris Beat Cancer is his book that he's bought out since I started all of this. I, I highly recommend that this is one book that you do buy and hopefully it will also inspire you to join his Square One programme if you haven't done already. So I will be putting the details of this book down below. I do suggest that if you can, do buy it from your local bookstore to save them going out of business. Otherwise, I'll be putting the link to Hay House, who are the publishers of the book. So Chris in the book explains everything as to why this whole diet that I'm going to be telling you more about in a minute is so essential for getting well. Can I just say that at this point, please, if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button and the thumbs up and the bell as well if you want to be kept in on every time when I do put out a video or bing and let you know that it's there. So thanks very much. Moving on, yes, so we're with this large big bowl of salad. Now part of the salad I'd include something like um, sauerkraut, a probiotic, or maybe I'd drink some kefir, which is another probiotic. So either way, of course, all of this is a lot lighter than how we'd normally be eating with perhaps bread or heavy grains. But you'll, you'll feel really, really 
good after all of this. You'll start to feel used to that lightness way of being, that snacking in between things. What we're doing is we're allowing the food to be going through us at a slow, steady pace that it can deal with so that we're effectively nursing that gut biome that we talked about last week. who will be loving everything that we're doing here. Now in winter, um, here in England, the salad doesn't quite cut it. I must admit, I do make a supply of winter soups, mainly with root vegetables, which I have alongside the salad to just keep me warm and going. So come three o'clock, I would start to feel like something, I must admit, a little bit sweet. Our energy starts to dip at this point and I start to find some lovely sugar-free recipes for things like biscuits and there's some other cakey ones which I'll share with you, which I like to have alongside something comforting like a latte. In summer I found that I was out and about more and I might actually miss this at that point, but either way it was my little treat at three o'clock, a lovely turmeric latte, golden milk as we call it, um, and a little bit of biscuit or cake. And of course, I'll be drinking lots of water alongside either side of this. Now, come six o'clock, it's dinner time. This is the point when I would cook something warm in the kitchen. I'd be making something like this curry with lots of vegetables and lentils. And alongside it, I'd have the crunch and the texture of yet more salad. This, this is a really lovely way to eat actually, which I have got used to now. I wouldn't be packing it alongside things like rice or breads because there's no nutrition in all of that. And there's other reasons as well. I'd be bulking out the vegetables and the salad. The plant side is what I'd be focusing on. I'd literally be overdosing on fruits and vegetables throughout the whole of the day. And of course, I'd be chasing it down with water and, and supplements. Now, maybe an hour later, you got used to having something just a little bit sweet afterwards. And at this point, I'm, I might grab maybe an apple or a pear. And I'd have it with a little bit of nut butter. And I found that that was really satisfying for getting that sweet craving out of the way later on before I went to bed. Now, before I went to bed, of course, there'd be more water and there'd be supplements that I'd be taking in the evening before I went to bed. Now, all of that looks very beautiful and colourful, doesn't it? And you'll probably be thinking, gosh, I'll be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. And yes, you will be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. And, and to be blunt, I, I often didn't go out very much because eating like this outside, well, particularly now in COVID, it's impossible, isn't it? I did spend a lot of time at home eating like this. I didn't see it as a chore. I saw it as a new way of being still with myself, looking after myself, which to be perfectly honest, I've been looking after other people for years. This was all part of that loving myself that was starting to happen. Feeding not just my microbiome, but also feeding my soul. There's a lot of, you've probably heard, you know, food like this is soul food, isn't it? And it's so true because when you eat like this, you'll start to get more energy, you'll start to feel lighter, you'll start to feel happier. It's so true. But I'm sure that you've noticed by now that you've probably been wondering, where's the meat? Where's the dairy? Where's the sugar? Where's the alcohol? Where's the caffeine? Where, as we said before, the wheat? Where's the gluten? There isn't any. None of those things benefit us. What we're doing is we're literally eating all the things that our gut biome needs to restore itself. And we're doing this on a constant, gradual basis. And I'll tell you what, if you're doing this properly, you're going to be going to the toilet, doing number twos, probably three times a day. And everything will be moving through you easily, calmly. It really is a different way of being. And it's very different to vegan junk food, which, which a lot of kids out there are now eating. This is real vegan eating. And, and I ate like this for the first year in particular, after which, once I got clear scans, I was introducing clean meat into my diet. So we're talking about organic, grass-fed. But now, the stage that you're at, th this is where I was what, this is where I was at, and it worked for me. It really, obviously it worked for me. 
alongside all of the other things requiring a new headset. So hopefully you've enjoyed that and you're inspired. There'll be lots of videos to follow this that give you more ideas as to what you can be building into that. And I look forward to sharing that with me. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye.